After a little bit of a wait, Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania is finally here for the Nintendo Switch as well as other consoles. In today's video, I'm going to do a little unboxing of the Nintendo Switch version as well as share some thoughts I have about the game. So yeah, this is the Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania Switch version. Comes in a nice cardboard box. Here's the front and back. Pretty much the same that's inside the box in terms of what's on the game case itself. But if you buy an early edition of this, you'll get a nice art book. It's paperback, but it's actually nice. It has some really cool art in it, showcasing the characters in the game, as well as a little bit of a history lesson, showcasing some of the games that are in the Super Monkey Ball franchise. Overall, it's pretty nice, and if you're a Super Monkey Ball fan, it's worth picking up. And the game's only $39.99, so it's actually at a pretty good value that they include this. As far as the game itself, I really like it. It controls well for the most part. There's a few issues that I have that I'll address in a moment. But the game is pretty packed with lots to do. There's 300 levels. You can challenge the Super Monkey Ball 1 set, Super Monkey Ball 2 set. There's a nice story mode. You get points to use in the point shop to unlock modes. Abilities like the jump, costumes, a lot of goodies. There's 12 mini games, and they control well for the most part, too. Except for Monkey Target, I hate to say, does not control as well as the original. It's alright, it's serviceable, but if you're a real big fan of the original Monkey Target, I just don't think you're going to appreciate this much. It's just a little bit jarring with that mini game. But anyway, back to the main game. Like I said, it mostly controls well. For those that are not aware, this game is a remaster, a collection of Super Monkey Ball 1, 2, and Deluxe. And it was remade in the Unity engine. It's not the same engine as it was back in the GameCube era. And it shows. It does show. For those that have played the original games, it might take you a little bit to adjust. For newer players, I think you're kind of fit right in. There was a few levels that I just could not do. There was one that was shooting me up a center platform and it was just through the gameplay, I just could not do it. It just, with that physics engine, just could not pull it off. Luckily, there's some accessibility options in terms of the ability to skip levels, which is a huge plus. There is helper mode that doubles the time for the level as well as be able to press the R button to slow down time which for some levels that's extremely useful to use. There's a jump button that you can unlock through the point shop because I know for some later Monkey Ball fans they're used to that jump button and for some of these levels it's going to open it right open in terms of speedruns. And the biggest thing of all is there's no longer a live system which for better or worse, I think might be a plus for this game. It's kind of an old mechanic since the older games were kind of based off a arcade mindset. But with all that, I think people will be able to see more of the levels as opposed to some of the older games in the franchise. Anyway, as far as my opinion of the game goes, it's pretty positive. Let's be honest, this is the best Super Monkey Ball game probably since Super Monkey Ball 2 and Deluxe. Is it perfect? Heck no. It is not perfect. There is room for improvement. But you can tell that Sega really invested some time into this. Thank goodness after all those games to really make this one of the better Super Monkey Ball titles. I also appreciate the fact that they did this in-house as opposed to put it off to another studio. Uh, we've seen in recent memory with Sonic Colors how that didn't work out so well for the Switch. Here, it plays well on the Switch. It looks good. It looks good in handheld mode. If you're a handheld user or a Switch Lite user, you should be fine with it. I tried it out with some Joy-Cons. It felt good. I will say the Pro Controller is probably the best option for it. It just feels the best when playing the game, but that's me. 
But yeah, I really do enjoy this, even though there is, you know, it's not perfect. There's a few things that they need to work on. Overall, it's a great package. It's 40 bucks. You're safe in knowing it's the best Super Monkey Ball in a long, long time. And I think there's good value here. Anyway, that's just some quick thoughts on Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania. I thought I'd just, you know, share that with you guys. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Helps out the video, helps out the channel. Consider subscribing. I do a lot of Nintendo Switch videos. If you're a Nintendo fan, you're in the right place. I also do some retro games as well as some other games as well. And of course, I always like to make a big shout out for the Kaiju Club Patreons. Through their Patreon pledges, they help to support this channel and fund videos for this channel. Thank you for being a Patreon member. And most of all, thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Thank you for subscribing. Have a wonderful day, and I will catch you next time. Thank you.